It's time to hit the hardwood with five on five. Hey, good to see you once again. It's that time of the season when district races heat up as the final games wind down. And as we get closer to the playoffs, teams are looking to lock up a spot in the postseason. In District 32 6A, two teams on the outside looking in right now are Harlingen and Brownsville Hannah. They were tangling at the Cardinals gym tonight. The Cardinals 3 and 7 in district. The Golden Eagles 4 and 6. Hannah was ahead by three at halftime. Third quarter here. Eagles send it in to the big man, Adam Lopez, and it's a one hopper. Hannah takes a five point lead. On the other end, here's Harlingen now. Mike Arellano knocks down the jumper, and the home team trying to get a run going, but the Eagles going shot for shot with them. They feed Noah Armstrong, and no problem for him. And the little cards fan up there is like, come on, man. Let's go, Big Red. Well, here they go. Check out the nice pass in. Matthew Sessler lays it up and in. And what a ball game tonight. In the end, Hannah narrowly clips Harlingen 57 to 56. Gabe Valdez and the West Local Boys have already clinched a playoff spot. Now they're trying to hold off Los Fresnos for the district championship. The Panthers in San Benito this evening. And West Laco out to a quick start after tip off. That's the game's first score there. Then the Greyhounds go on the attack for an answer. David Sanchez on the bucket. And the Greyhounds trying to hang with the district leader. But the Panthers looking powerful this evening. The ball goes to Jordan Young here. He hits the gas and says, hey, I'll see you at the rim. Nice take. After that, <coughs> a couple more passes. And this time, it's Braxton Bloomquist who goes down the baseline nice and easy. A game by 16 points for Bloomquist. And the Panthers a step closer to the district title. They'll take on second place Los Fresnos on Tuesday. In District 36A, there's a three-way battle for first place. La Jolla, McCallum Memorial, and Rowe all in contention. Two of those squads faced off tonight. Channel 5's Ruben Juarez was in McCallum for the Mustangs and the Coyotes. Ruben? Hey, Joel, tonight's contest featuring a pair of teams in the top of the standings in District 36A, La Jolla. Entering tonight's game, tied for first with a 6-2 mark, while Memorial in third place with a 6-3 record. The Mustangs looking for revenge. They lost to La Jolla by one point in overtime in January. Let's go ahead and take a look at the highlights. Boy, were they ready. We'll start off with Memorial. Mustangs were determined early on. Josh Sanchez gives it to Will Garcia for the bucket off glass. Memorial jumping out to a 9-0 lead. Moments later, time to shoot your number. Chris Melendez gets it in the corner. The three ball from number 12 is good. Mustangs go up 12-0. Moving on to the second quarter, Coyotes trying to claw back. Justin Pulido lines up the triple, but Memorial still up double digits. Then it's Julio Gonzalez doing his part. He knocks down the pull-up jumper for La Jolla, but the Coyotes down eight at the half. Fourth quarter now, Memorial putting the game away. Garcia drives baseline and goes right to the rim. McAllen Memorial goes on to beat La Jolla 51 to 36. We knew what we wanted to do. We wanted to start out fast. Uh, they beat us last time, so we, we, we had a little bit of edge to us, a little bit of fire, so we just want to come out fast. So we're feeling confident. We've got two games left, and we got playoffs, and uh, we're ready. Next up for the victorious Mustangs, a matchup against Juarez Lincoln next Friday, while La Jolla will take on the same team, the Huskies, next Tuesday. That'll do it from here in McAllen. Joel, let's send it back to you in the studio. All right, thank you, Ruben. Some more boy scores from tonight. Rowe wins big over Mission, and the Warriors now alone in first place on top of District 36A. Meanwhile, Roma fighting for their playoff lives, and the Gladiators tonight take down Laredo Cigarroa by one point. Big win for the Roma boys, and Brownsville Lopez beats Ed Couchelsa 66 to 64. Now it is time for some girls basketball. Vela High School in second place in District 31 6A. They're chasing first place Edinburgh. The Bobcats winners tonight. Could the Sabercats follow suit? Vela going on the road to the Bears Den at PSJA High School. First quarter, Sabercats going inside to Julissa Cuellar. And that will be good for the basket, uh, the visitor scoring there. Meanwhile, PSJA also playing well this evening. They counter with a shot from Rebecca Trevino. But in the end, it would be too much from the Vela Sabercats. Let's take a look at the final score. Vela, the winner tonight, 60-33 to as they pick up the district victory. 
All right, one of the Valley's top teams this season has been Brownsville veterans, and they had a very important game against out of North tonight. For the full story, here's Channel 5's Brandon Ortega. Hey there, Joel. Tonight, two different forms of motivation for these teams. You've got Brownsville veterans going for their first ever district title, and then Donna North, they're trying to become the first team in 32-5A to beat the Chargers this season. The Chiefs mathematically eliminated from the playoffs, so tonight, a nothing-to-lose mentality. Let's check out the highlights in the third quarter. Brownsville vets up big. Jordan Rudd up ahead to Danny Diaz, and the Chargers pushing the tempo every chance they got. Donna North kept fighting off the inbounds. Melanie Morales banks in a quick deuce, and then inside to outside. Kaylee Contreras showing off the mid-range, but Brownsville veterans lead just too big to overcome in the second half. Hannah Myers down low for two, and the Chargers cruise to victory 60-20. Brownsville veterans clinches their first district title in program history. That's not really something we were thinking about, but I mean, it, of course, it's an awesome accomplishment. But right now, we're focusing on winning playoff games. That's our ultimate goal. We've been working for this for four years, and we finally have it tonight. So I'm very happy and proud of my team also. It marks the beginning of a legacy that we're building and um, the beginning of a of a new era, I think, for the school also. What a moment tonight for the Chargers. Just one game left in the regular season. Brownsville veterans gets a chance to go undefeated in district for the first time ever. They take on Donna at home on Tuesday. Donna North will wrap up the season with Mercedes. Let's go back to you, Joel. Thank you, B. We keep it going. Senior night for Donna High School. The Bravettes hosting Brownsville Pace. Both teams already locked in for the playoffs. They're fighting for the third and fourth seeds now. First quarter, Donna dials up from long distance. Daisy Rios hits the tray, and the Brave Vets take the lead. Later, the Vikings defense leads to some offense. Ebony Casanova ahead to Lexi Arce, and she's ahead of the pack. Pace goes on a 5 0 run. Then Casanova with another dime, this time to Kaylin Quesada. The Vikings take the early lead, and they never look back. 40-31 the final score. Donna now a game behind pace for third place in 32-5A. Some more girls scores. McCall Memorial 57, La Jolla 44, and the Lady Mustangs your top team in 36A. Also tonight, Mission Veterans beat Sherry Lynn. Both teams chasing Rio Grande City for the final playoff spot in 31-5A. And then Gruya defeats Zapata 68-44. That's a look at sports. We'll be right back after this.